Well, tonight we have an oddball story for you. And we mean that literally. It's about odd balls. Yeah, and no one can agree on what to call them. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers is live to show you what we mean. Nathan. Well, we had a debate in the newsroom about this morning. Uh, what do you call these? I mean, I grew up calling them hedge balls. They look like they're something from outer space. They're usually about the size of a softball, but I found one this morning that's the biggest one I've ever seen. It's about the size of a soccer ball. And they come with a lot of different names and a lot of different stories. It started with a thud. Every 10 minutes, a new one will hit my roof. Our own meteorologist, Alina Lee, has noticed them dropping from two trees towering over her backyard taking over her patio. A ton of these green, funky looking balls. In local parks, everybody and their dog has noticed them falling along walking paths. I see them all the time. Yeah, they're weird, it looks like a brain. It's like a head of lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Gene Verna cleans them out of his yard every year. They're a real gnarly kind of tree. They don't grow straight. They come with a lot of different names. Hedge balls. I call them crab apples. Horse apples. We always call them hedge apples. Ozark. Apples. I don't call them anything. Osage orange, hedge, hedge apple, bodock trees. Dennis Patton is a horticulturist for the Johnson County Extension Office. They are a very common native tree in our woodlands and some of our open lands around here. And like anyone else who grew up around these, he's fascinated by them. There's really no other local fruit that is so large. Most of the rows here were planted by farmers as windbreakers and used as a natural fence. Their wood is so dense, it's hard to cut with a chainsaw. That tree played an integral part in defining our pasture land. Then there's this myth. People put them in their garages to keep away spiders. And that's an old wives tale commonly heard. This time of year, you might want to keep your head up. You would hate to be in the backyard when they fall from the tree. I might need a hard helmet next time I go outside. <laughs> no matter what you call them. They're unique to our area, so we should embrace them. One of the myths I grew up hearing was that these things are poisonous, but today I learned the seeds are actually edible. I haven't tried them yet. They don't look very good, but apparently you can eat them. The other thing I learned was that the wood is so dense and it burns so hot, it can damage most fireplaces. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. I've learned so much about hedge apples, as I call them, Nathan, yeah. but I have no desire to uh, find out what they taste like. Yeah, Nathan, go ahead. Do take one for the team and just tell us how how it is. Oh, he's gonna do okay, it. Okay, okay, I'm that's, going for it. That's peer <gasps> pressure right there. What? <laughs> uh huh. Oh, it tastes like a sunflower seed. It's not bad. Really? It's got kind of a <laughs> kind of a crunch to it. Okay. Well, there you have it. We're we're finding not a way. My to, favorite. We're finding a way that we can get rid of these hedge <laughs> apples. Nathan, nicely done. Yeah, way to go. All